Today I'm going to show you how to quickly compose your shots when taking photographs at night. So thanks to Mad one for mentioning this, and someone else mentioned it in a comment as well. So if this is you, thank you. This is one of those features that is really well hidden. I looked through the menus and I couldn't find it anywhere. I ended up finding it in the custom menus, and this is the only way that you'll get to it. Bright monitoring is a function where the camera lowers the refresh rate on your monitor or EVF, so it lets more light in per frame. This function works really well. And after watching this video and finding it and setting it to a custom button, I suggest you go and try it in the darkest room in your house. You'll be really surprised at how much light the camera will pick up. This is how to set it up. Go to the second tab and page eight. Select custom key stills. Then you can assign it to whichever button you want. I have it set to the AEL button. Select the button you want and then find bright monitoring on page 17 out of 22 on the A7 III. Now, when you press it, you might find that it doesn't work. Basically, it won't select bright monitoring if you have the autofocus on, so you'll have to switch it to manual focus. This shouldn't be too much of a problem because when you're shooting in such dark conditions, you'll need to be on manual focus anyway. It'll then come up with this nighttime landscape logo. It works in both the monitor and the EVF, and it'll help you compose your image. There are a couple of downsides to it, the first one being that it really lowers the refresh rate, so when you move the camera around, it's really jittery and it takes time to update the screen. The other downside is when you press magnify to get critical focus, it comes out of bright monitoring, back to the normal mode. So to get critical focus, you're still gonna have to find that bright star, magnify in on it, and then focus in on that point. If you wanna learn more about focusing at night, click on the eye in the corner. This will take you to another of my videos. With this bright monitoring function, I wanted to see what it was like in a real life situation. So the other week I went out and I went to a few different spots. In the Bortle 2 area, you can only just about see the horizon. You can't see any details in the foreground, although you can just about see the Milky Way. In the Bortle 5 area, everything in the shot is visible and the city just past the horizon is really bright. So, if you're shooting in a Bortle 2 or a Bortle 1 area and there's no moonlight about, it's still quite tricky composing your shot. If you're shooting in a Bortle 5 to Bortle 3 area, bright monitoring will work really well. I'm not gonna cover how to take a shot at night. If you want to learn how to do astrophotography shots, click on the eye in the corner. This will take you to my astrophotography video. For astrophotography, it was really great to have this function. What I'd normally do is set the ISO really high and the shutter speed quite low and take a photo of a few seconds. And then I'd take a few shots until I got the composition that I wanted. With bright monitoring, I didn't have to do this, which is a great advantage and it speeds up the process. As I've already said, the annoying thing was not being able to magnify in and still have this brightness in the monitor. I know my lens is inside out, so this doesn't bother me too much. I know exactly where the infinity point is and I know exactly where I need to focus to. And that's about it. What I'm gonna do is make an updated astrophotography tutorial, including this bright monitoring function. Then you'll be able to see my newer, faster process. If I've already made it, it'll be on the link on the eye in the corner. If not, it'll be coming soon. So if you shoot with the A7 III, set bright monitoring to one of your custom buttons, go out and shoot at night, and let me know in the comments below how you got on. It'll be great to hear your thoughts on this function. As always, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And for weekly tutorials, hints and tips in photography and videography, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.